Let's talk about recurring transactions. Peachtree can help us effectively and efficiently manage recurring transactions. We simply set up the transaction in the beginning and tell Peachtree how often to recur it. And then the transaction will be there for us each time we need it. Let's demonstrate this by coming under the Tasks pull down menu and let's come in to Purchases. Let's set up our office rent as a recurring transaction. We rent our office from Miller Leasing Corp. When we're going to set up a transaction using the recur feature, we want to leave the invoice number field blank. Next, let's come down here and charge this to rent expense. Our monthly rent is $2,500. Now, let's click on the Recur button. Here, we want to tell Peachtree how many times to recur this transaction. Note down here in the lower right-hand corner what period we're in. We're in period 4. We want this transaction to recur until the end of the year. So that means we want it to recur, including April, 9 times. We want to begin with invoice number 2003-4. Peachtree will advance this number one for each time it recurs. This way, this number will be in sync with the month that we're paying rent for. Over here, simply tell Peachtree the frequency that it recurs. Our rent recurs monthly. Now, click on OK, and Peachtree immediately recurred the transaction for us into all the remaining periods for this year. Let's go look at how Peachtree did this. Let's come under Tasks, let's go into Payments, and let's pull in Miller Leasing. You can see here, 4, 5, 6, so on, down to 12. So we have all our rent invoices in the system for this year. So each month we can simply come in here and pay Miller their monthly rent.